Hello everybody, good afternoon, good afternoon. This is Queen Olive in our kitchen. I guess I am baking today. I'm baking some pudding and toto. You know, as we are home here, we are home in our house. We can't go out. We are quarantined. So I find something to do rather than sit down and don't have anything to do. Rather than that, don't do something. So I'm here in my house right now. And I decided to make some pudding because you know we now go they go buy them things there because we keep all the restaurant and thing closed and all these shops are closed. But whether or not Queen Olive always likes to bake her stuff, yeah. So I'm here now in the kitchen. I'm not really proper attired for the kitchen, but it's okay because I'm in my kitchen. I have to be comfortable. So right here. As you know, I said I always blend my potato. I do not grate it. I do not have no strength in my hand to grate a potato. So what I do is I peel my potato, cut it small, and blend it with the coconut juice. So that in order for us to get the coconut um, juice um, creamy and full of the, the, the coconut, we have to blend it in hot water. So I cut up my coconut. And I blend the coconut first, then strain it off and blend the coconut juice with the potato. That's what I'm doing right here. So right now what I have in here in this box, this bottle here, mixing up right now, it's the potato and the coconut and sugar. This is a piece of coconut, um, potato didn't blend out. Yeah, so what I have in there is sugar, nutmeg, vanilla, and cinnamon powder all the spice that i have i don't have the fancy spice and the nice spice that jamaica have we don't have the strong um vanilla but what i have here blending now is vanilla nutmeg cinnamon powder a little pinch of salt and my coconut juice and my potato i have right here is blending right now so i'm making this pudding that's we have something that's when we're tired to eat um, rice, we're tired of eat flour, we're tired of eat that, we have every little bit of everything to eat. Hi Beverly, how are you doing? I have a little bit of everything in my house to eat because I like to cook and bake. That is my most pleasurous thing in my life. I am here, I'm so, sometimes I drop into panic attack. Sometimes I get nervous about what is going on. Everybody gets nervous because we know when um, that corona disease hit us, it's like it's the end of our journey. But thank God, some people are getting over with it. It's not everybody is, is dying. So let me turn our hand in our kitchen and make fashion. Anything you want to do, you turn your hand in your kitchen and you do it. Do something instead of sitting down here and said, oh, I feel like walking and going to the street and walk without no reason. I don't know if they're lucky enough people here in New York, but I just like to cook. So I have all what I'm supposed to have in here, the sugar, the nutmeg, the vanilla, the, the, the potato. Also, I have um, cassava. I like to put cassava in it because cassava make it a, um, a smooth look and a smooth when you're eating nice and jelly like the cassava. So I blend that with it also and I put my sugar, my flour. I'm gonna put the flour in now, so I'm going to, it's not hard to mix, it's not hard to do like how when, when we are doing the cake, because doing the cake, you know, we have a lot of things. I have all the machine could do it, but I don't want to use the machine because it does, doesn't really need the machine now. So I'm putting in my flour in there, I'm putting like about a, a pound of flour in here, I'm putting in right now in my, in my, in my um, pudding, I'm putting about that, that in there. So, so, it's a good black spot. So, oh, that's a vanilla, stupid me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm putting in, I'm putting all the flour one time and just blend it around. Instead of stop and go back. I'm not going to use no machine to, to do it. So, this, um, this five, five scoop of this flour, I think it's equivalent to about, um, three quarter pound of flour so I'm gonna mix it and you see how I'm gonna mix it I put it in the middle and I mix it around like this so I get all the flour dissolved away I don't want when it finished baking I have no flour lump in there yes people we could turn our hand and do anything in our house just to prevent us or to avoid us from going on the street because going on the street it is not pretty out there you see people out there don't have no gloves they don't have no mask we don't know we don't know who or what 
walking with the virus and it's not nothing sexual transmitting and it's not nothing that we're gonna um it's not nothing that's we gonna tell the people and say with this you let me get it or you let me get it because we could sleep in with a person who have it we could be walking with a person and talking or working with a person and we don't hi Anford how you doing <laughs> big because I cannot know how to do it okay Anford yeah so we could walk in beside anybody who have the sickness and we don't know. So we have to protect ourselves and protect who's coming in our house. You know, some people, you talk to them about they're coming in their house and they're not dressing in the right attire way on the street to prevent the sickness. They get upset. But if they get upset when I talk to a person, but I don't come in my house, they don't come back. Because they don't have to come. You understand? Because everybody has their own apartment. You understand me? But right now they say to dress in the right attired way in your, when you're going on the street, when you're going to pick up the food in the supermarket or in there, have your gloves. Someone can go who have it, just pick the nose or the mouth and hold it and then you don't know, you go after them and then you get, this, get the, 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 the disease. That's a disease there what we don't know, probably it can cure, but they don't find the cure yet for it. But right now, I'm here just showing my little divas them, my little cute divas them, my little nice divas them, where they're all in all them do them go to the store and buy a pudding, a cake, or whatever they go and buy. But Queen Olive, don't go and buy Queen Olive, make it in her house because I love, I love to bake, I love to cook. As you see this morning, I wake up, I make um chicken foot soup, and I make peas and rice, and oxtail. So I have a whole set of food here that's if you don't want soup, you got peas and rice. If you don't want the peas and rice with the oxtail, you have vegetable. So food is in my house at all times. You all know I have my grand grands then. So they, 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 my grand grands then, they love Jamaican food. That's their food. They love Jamaican because that's their root. So Remember now when you're making the pudding, you don't put a lot of flour. If you put too much flour in there, it's going to eat hard. So we don't want it to eat hard. We want it to eat mild and nice. And it has to sweet. You have to put a little salt. Put every little, little touch that you have. They have some lovely um, mixed spice and thing in Jamaica. I never get none of those because when my sister was coming, I told her I don't want not because we have everything here. So when I asked her about the mixed spice, she told me, didn't you say you didn't want anything? Yes, I did tell her that, but I get to understand that they have some good spice. Even a lady was telling me that she's going to give me some spice, but she's from another country. I don't know her and I don't know it. So I don't want to take nothing from nobody. It's not that I'm credulous. But I don't want to take anything from somebody and I don't know them. I don't know their whereabouts in their house, if they are clean and where it's coming from. Because a lot of people, they are not clean. You see them looking on the street and sometimes you could know them because of the way they carry themselves. So I'm very scared to take things from people. When the virus is over, I am coming to visit. Okay, sweetheart, I really, really, really want to see my divas. Because I did, I was going to keep a party. You know, we always keep my party in the backyard. I don't know what is going on if, you know, party is going to be up. Because sometimes when we think it's over, that's just the beginning. And le right now, we have the worst to come. We have the worst to come. So, I'm trying to get out all these flower grain while I'm talking to you people. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to take out the flour grain out there. That's so we could put it in the oven. I have the pan them here grease already. This is the pan them. I have them grease already. I prepare everything. I did show you when I was ble um, blending it. Because it's, it's going to take too much out of me. So I just blend it. As I say people, remember. Peel your potato. Cut them very small. And you blend it in your blender. Who want to grater it? You know, it's good. You could go and grater it. But I am not grater in nothing because right now I was just grater in one nutmeg and my finger get muscle stiff like this. I couldn't move my finger. I have to use my hand and bring it back. So I am not going to do too much things and to let me my, get sick and stuff. So I do it the easy way, which is the best way I think because if, when I did much younger and I used to grate a potato for my mother and my grandmother, if we didn't know about blender and thing to blend, we wouldn't need thing there because them, them old time people used to have them blender and then blender put on like a showcase. They put it in the house, they have it um, thing there. Take off my glasses. They put it in the house 
and they have it like a show. They're not using it for nothing. So I have mine, I'm using it. The only thing I don't use is my blender. Okay, you can see what all in there. Okay. Okay. Is that my pressure cooker? I don't use pressure cooker because you know here we could use with gas to use and and again we don't have no old cow, no old fold, no old nothing to cook. So think I don't use it. Yes, people, if we sit and think about this pandemic time with this virus, we're gonna kill ourselves. So let's dance, play music, take your drink, dance, pray, and stop sit and worry because if what is to be it's got to be because they say it's estimate amount of people they think is gonna die is a hundred thousand to two hundred thousand people we don't know who next is gonna take that's why one must get up and cook boiled banana mackerel callaloo and all them thing and eat up them thing there on the sit on the way on the little pot pack of things they want to take out of the fridge and go put it for frozen Cook up a storm and then we can have so we, our body is strong enough to fight whatsoever and put in some more, putting two more flour in there. That's our body can able to fight away what is going on. If we don't if we don't eat, we are gonna sick. We are going to sick. So good afternoon, my daughter-in-law. She's on the phone. My daughter-in-law right there. She will good afternoon. You know, I, I don't I don't see that much about um I don't feel like keep the glasses on because talking with the glasses, the hunger is tight, so it's kind of giving me a little ache in my two temple. But ladies, divas, and then you all know we are from the country. Most of us, we are from Jamaica, the country part in Jamaica. Some of us say we are the Kingstonian, and they still know what to do. We don't know for the boil and garlic and coconut oil and drink it. We don't know how to do that there. Boil the coconut oil. Or if you don't have the coconut oil, put it on the top of the stove and grate the garlic until the garlic burning it. Let the garlic just stay in there and when you take a spoonful of it, it clean your lungs. It's clean your lungs. So do that. And also, I remember when I was small, my grandmother used to give her roast sour orange. We call it sour orange or sobel orange, you know. And she always roasts it every night and give us. And we so greedy to eat it because they put the sugar in there and we don't pick it we love sugar. We never know it was for a good reason. It was very good for us to clean out our inside because I have one of my tenants here and he wasn't feeling sick. I was worried about him. I'm stressed about, worried about myself too. But when I go in up to his um, thing, I go with my gloves, my mask and put on... I, I came over me like I'm a doctor. So I went up there and I, you know, tried to see what I could do. He didn't want to go to the doctor. Because right now, you know, going to the doctor right now, it's like it's more detrimental than when you stay home. Blessing to Charlotte. Charlotte, one of my diva was sick and she, she overcome it. I don't know if she's home, but I know she overcome it and she's fit. She's feeling very good now. And I, last night, I tell my tenant that I'm going to roast him one of those um, sibyl orange. Let me show you what is a sour orange. It's not the, the real, um, this is not it. Yes, people, who don't know what a sour orange is? This is it. It is sour. It grow like they're crazy. It's good for drinking. For it's good for everything because it's sour. So I put it in the foil paper. Put it on my stove, and I roast it. And when it roasts, I bring it to him. I said, take out it from the skin, and put the inside in a bowl with some sugar and eat it. He said to me this morning, Sister Olive. Lord have mercy, you've done me something good. I started to get scared now, thinking something wrong with him. He said, that sour orange deer that you gave me, because he's from the island too. He said, that's very good. He said, when he goes to the bathroom, it's like a laxative cleaning out all them cold and cold coming down out of him. And I felt so good about it. So that's the reason why I can tell people about it. It is very, very good sour orange, a.k.a. sumal orange. Yes, so people, we could try our home remedy. 
Not everything what people are telling you because some people are talk some things and all them things. Eh. Me nah go run go do it, but me I do what me know my grandmother used to do. Okay, Seanette, I'm so sorry, my dear, and I hope you're feeling much better. Everybody, please say get well to Seanette. She's still in the hospital. She's a lovely sweetheart. She's a lady that I went to her 40th birthday party. She's a sweetheart, and I'm sending my get well to her, and I'm sending my stay strong to her children. She's an awesome woman. She's a good mother, and I'm praying that her that praying for her that she get out of that sickness because you know she don't have a mommy to do what I'm saying right here she only have our daughters and her son her mommy passed away about two years ago so Seanette I am praying for you and I want all my divas to say get well Seanette she's a sweetheart she's a sweetheart people when I'm telling you she's a very good sweetheart so please my head raised so much when I see all these people say they get well shot it ladies divas and then I'm telling you we are all one God made us as all one it doesn't where what matter where she from we are all human being and in this time and day right now what we have to do is just have to share our love with each other because we don't know what is gonna happen right now so Sean I'm so glad that you're feeling much better and I'm sending my love to your children and your children this is she, they, her children call me Auntie Olive because you know you most of these island children they always say Auntie and they are very manageable and she's a single mother growing those children so Seanette I send my love for you and all my divas Karen blessing yeah may God cover her so right now all my my lumps are gone. <laughs> Lord, 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 I know people are going to say, spit, spit, spit. No, 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 no. It's going to cook. Yeah. So all my lumps are gone now. So I'm going to put my, my um, butter in. You know, we put some butter in to spread it around because we wanted to have the jelly top. So I'm going to put this butter in and whip it. And then after I put it in the pan, the pan them are here already waiting waiting to put my my um pudding in to put it in my oven yes i don't taste it or nothing but i know it's in it's good let me taste it <laughs> uh, yep i think it i think it wants a little more sugar so i have more brown sugar but i'm gonna show some some of my white sugar in there i want I like it when it's sweet. <laughs> yes, I'm throwing a little more sugar in there. So, as I finish throwing the sugar, I'm going to pour it into the pan. So, after I pour it into the pan, I'm going to put it right to the oven. The oven is there light and waiting for me to put this oven. So, people, on a can go make plantain pudding, banana pudding, banana fritters, banana dumpling. Make everything in the house, turn on your hand and make fish fashion. If you buy four pound of chicken, cook three pound. Cut it small, make everybody get a, it's a gravy. Because a look at man. Hey, hey, we don't know where you know. We don't know what happen. We don't know because them say the worst is it to come. So I could just turn with hand from now. I could start learn to turn our hand and make fashion. Yes, so I'm going to put it in the, um, in the pan now. So, I have a scraper that I scrape my things down. So, I'm going to put it in the pan, put it straight to the oven, and let it cook while I'm going to, I'm going to go work. And this is my scraper here. So, I scrape everything from the edge right round. Everything. So, everything go in, in my pan. Nothing left in here. Yes, people. Queen Oliver make a potato pudding. Remember, I do it from scratch. I, I blend the potato and also I blend my coconut. I blend the coconut with hot water and then I blend the potato in the coconut juice because I have to blend it. I cannot blend it with water. If I blend it with water, it's not going to be good. So I'm going to pour it out right now, Divas. Yeah. So I'm going to put it in the oven and from there... Um, I'll be back I'm over here putting it in the pan. Yeah. 
Yes, people. So don't go away. Stay right there. I'm putting this in the oven, taking it out of the pan, and put it in the oven for it to bake. And it's going to bake like an, um, about an hour to hour and a half. Because remember, we are cooking the potato. That's what we are doing. We are cooking the potato, but we are cooking it in sugar and spice. Yeah. Sugar and spice, like our, our, our lovely girl spice. Yes, yes, people. So here I am. Put this over there. Let you see what I'm doing. Here I am. I think I should take out some of this. Put it in here because it's too much in too much in this one here. So I'm gonna take out some more. Yep. Too much. Um, this big one has too much in there, so I'm taking out some. Take out some. And put it in that one. Yeah. And remember, we have to clean the pan outside that it doesn't make a, um, a mess. So we, get, we make sure now the outside of the pan, nothing is on the outside of the pan. So I'm cleaning it right off. So here I go with my first one. There it is. Yeah, I'm going to put it in the oven. Put it in the oven. And this is the second one. This is a small one here. The small one here to go upstairs. So I clean off all the residue from the outside. This is it. We're going to put it on in the oven. Yes. What you see on the top here, these little bubbles here on the top, these are the butter. Yeah. So let's put it in there. And I close the oven. And here, this in this part here, I have coconut juice. I have butter. And I have sugar. I'm going to melt it. So as soon as it boiled up, I'm going to throw it in there to get the top, make it jelly and nice. So, there I have over here now. I always, let me get my flour before I, get my flour in my pan before I start it. Yes, my flour finish. Yes, people. But don't, but when I have money, so I buy in a bulk. But every time that I go out, I always buy and I put my stuff then down. Yeah, always buy. So this is um flour, filbert flour. So I'm gonna put it in my container right here. Yeah. So over here right now, what I have in this pan here, this pan here, I have the coconut trash. I don't squeeze it after I blend it. I just throw it, strain it and throw it right in here. The coconut trash, I have sugar. I have nutmeg, vanilla, and spice. A little tip of um, a little pinch of salt, and all the spice I put in here. So we're gonna make something we call name Toto. Yes, I put. We're supposed to put baking soda in there, but every time that I'm making it and putting the baking soda, like my hand, them too heavy. Me, I put too much. So I'm gonna put my baking soda in there this time. I put baking powder. So I don't put the baking soda. So me switch it from the old time making with baking soda to baking powder. So I have in here coconut trash, sugar, nutmeg, vanilla, and cinnamon powder. And I'm going to mix everything together right here. I'm mixing it together. And when I mix it together, I'm just going to put two, two spoons of that sugar in there. And mix it up together. I have the pan there ready. This doesn't take long because it's a coconut trash and thing so I mix it together so when I'm using my coconut now I end up don't throw nothing away I do not throw nothing away I end up use the coconut trash for total and making my, my pudding yes people we can't turn with hand we can make garlic gritter cake but when you're making the gritter cake you cannot you cannot squeeze out the, the juice so you have to definitely grater that so here everything mixed together now I'm gonna taste it to see if it have the taste if it's sweet enough for me yeah and I don't put no no liquid no liquid don't put in this mm -hmm. this is good so here I'm gonna put my measuring thing I'm gonna put my put my sugar in my flour here this is like about oh uh, this let me see what this flour mark oh lord this is a thing there Oh, this is wheat flour, but it doesn't matter. 
I'm just going to use this to bake with. I do not like wheat nothing because I was like seeing have a little color. So that's all I'm going to put in there. And I'm going to mix everything together now. I mix everything. Everything is going to mix into a dough like a putty. And we're going to put it in the in the can. You we always make um, total. We always make it in a square pan. But my square pan, them, I don't like them. So I'm going to make it in a round pan. It doesn't matter where, how you make it because I'm making it for myself. I'm not making it too for anybody who I'm selling anything to. So there we go. So as we say, we have to mix out the flour. And the flour mixing with the coconut trash and, and, and um, the sugar without no liquid in there. It's dissolved out very easy. It doesn't lump here. It dissolves out very easy because we don't have no water in there to contact with it. It's just the coconut trash alone. So I'm making potato pudding. And also I'm making toto. And I cooked this. I cooked early on. I cooked um, rice and peas. Oxtail and chicken foot soup. Yes, so things are going over here. So food has to eat every minute when in this quarantine time. All we do is locked into our house and goes to the window and go to the refrigerator and goes to the bathroom. So let's when we come into the at the kitchen. When we come into the kitchen, we have something in the kitchen to eat. So I decided to do this and talk along with my beavers. So I'm gonna put it in right now and then i'm gonna sit down and not properly um a tired dress you know to and it computer you can see you can see me like this but anyhow i'm not looking really bad mm -hmm. you know i don't have to comb hair i don't have to comb hair only thing i have to do is make my face look a little shiny so there we go with that so again I have the scraper and I'm going to take the scraper and scrape down everything right there in there yeah I'm going to scrape it down and when I'm finished I'm going to take them out to let you see the other day I make peanut cake and um, luckily my sister said she's going to make some peanut cake and she's all the way out of state and I sit on the phone with her and tell her how to do the peanut cake until she finished and she finished and it's come up pretty good pretty pretty good it comes out so I tell her I want to make her to make pudding so when she's gonna make the pudding I'm gonna go with her and let she do it she's a baby she's a baby my sister so it's not everybody was meant to do anything you could try sometime you, you don't work it doesn't work out but it doesn't matter if you try and it doesn't work out it's not it's not a crime it's not a crime because you didn't know how to do it, but it's spoiled. You go back and try again, and you try, 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 and you will succeed about doing what you want to do. Yeah, because I didn't know about, about baking these things here neither. Never, never, never. I just decided to try. The first time I tried, never come out good. The second time, just like I was telling people when I was young growing, I want to make liver, liver, and I make the liver. And when I eat, when, when I done the liver, it tastes nice and thing. So I call my neighbor and tell my neighbor, come and taste it. She said, mmm, mmm, tastes good, tastes good. But only wanting it too hard, because you fall into the water, never know. But you're not too old, you're, we're not too old to know how to do things. So, there we put it in. And what time is it? Four o'clock. So, four o'clock it's on, we put it in. So, we're just going to sit. And we're going to wait till about uh, 5, 5.30, 5 o'clock, 5 o'clock, an hour is good to make it because it's, it's been blended out and everything, so we don't have to, you, yes, yes, people, so I put my glasses on now, yes, yeah, so one of our diva, she gets sick and I'm so sorry to hear, she's such a sweetheart, but, um, Everything is going to be fine with her because she was on the line a while ago, Charlotte, and she said she's feeling much better. And we are so happy to hear. So people, practice. The routine is when you go outside on the street, you come in, you wash your hand. And also, my divas and my dan, when you buy anything at the store, please, to wash them thoroughly. Because before you go and take it up, somebody go before you and touch it. Even your bread, your, your, your cereal, your wet up piece of rug, 
put a little soap on it, wet it, dry wet it, and you wipe it off. You want to sprinkle a little bleach on it, it is good. We have to protect ourselves because nobody's not going to protect us if we don't protect ourselves. And this is a time that people must stop fooling around and going on the internet and disrespecting people. The other day when you hear I was on the internet answering back Amari, she's praying for me and my daughter to dead because I said send back the, the girl home. So she feel offended. I don't know who tell her and how she hear it, but not because I put it up on the line. I didn't. I didn't put my mouth on when I was talking. Send that little girl home. What you don't like for yourself, don't give it to other. And you see what going on over there? Hell breaking loose every minute. You understand? And I felt so sorry for her daughter. Her daughter needs someone to talk to and someone shoulder to lean and cut a poor girl crying, crying, crying because she need someone to talk to. But you see. As we say all the time, everybody will see who is good from who is not good and who is not bad. Some people just go on the line here to do things to, for people, for them to get numbers that they could make money. Some people not going there and doing this thing straight from their heart to help others. Because a lot of people don't know how to bake a pudding, don't know how to cook soup, don't know to boil porridge. And by someone coming up here and teach them and, and, and you know, do make your porridge, someone could look and try to do it. Because I have a friend, she said, oh, I like that cornmeal thing. I like that cornmeal thing. She said, she said, Miss Olive, I go and I try. But I know it don't come out nice like yarns because it's kind of lumpy. But when she sweet it and put all the things that she said I put in there, it was good. So literally, little by little, she will learn how to make it. And, you know, she enjoy it without she have to go to the store to buy a cup for $8 or $5. Still, we have to go out there and support it. We have to go out there and we have to support the store, of course. But it's, you know, to each his own. I, um, I'm very funny when it's coming to eating food like like certain struggle and i buy food it's get, it's getting me sick i don't know if i have any kind of thing inside of my body rejecting other people's food but i'm praying and ask god for let it stop happening because when i go to and like i go to party and going to weddings and all them thing i'm scared to eat as soon as i end the day my belly start blue like a balloon let me feel uncomfortable let like it's talking to me and say don't eat don't 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 eat but i remember i did a surgeon name um I did a surgery a long time that they they has to take out um, a foot long of my large intestine because um, my large intestine was did burst. So um, apparently I was having so much pain. I think I was going to die. So I can't eat a lot, but I likes to cook a lot. I like to see people eat and and they're enjoying the food. So there's anybody here who have a birthday today? Happy birthday to whoever have a birthday going on now, and who has someone die? I send my condolence. My condolence because you know we don't know where we're going or where we're coming because we could go to sleep and we don't know we wait we we may wake up but we don't know where we're at with a new world we find ourselves in because the, the, the how this death toll is going we don't know who next who next you're gonna see put up oh oh my condolence to this person my condolence so love the people beautiful people let us pray let us send our prayer out for everyone even the one that hurts you let you have to cry send your prayer out for them because we are now in a pandemic situation we are in a crisis we don't know who will live to see the end of this thing that is going on and i'm so Sometimes I watch it and the next time I get so scared. The most time when I get scared is when I wake up in the morning. I get scared because I wake up to find myself. I'm still alive, but still I get scared. So beautiful people, lovely people. I was baking potato pudding and total. The total was the coconut trash, that the coconut juice I used to make the pudding. So we could turn our hand and make fashion. We could make it even thinner like a biscuit or we could make it thin because if you do, if you do thinner it's going to become a biscuit and you put it on the tin sheet and put it in there. So we have to learn to, to do something because it's going to come to a time that we can't even get out the house. So please everybody, please the most important thing that we need in our house, sugar, flour, salt and rice 
freeze and you buy your meat if you have a deep freeze and you stocked up your thing in there and use them with cautious use them with cautious those just use them like that and throw them away if you cook the food and you think it's too much the meat you put it in half and you put it in your fridge share and you put it in your refrigerator the, the freezer Put it in the freezer and let it properly covered up. When you're ready, you could take it out and you get it, put it back and you stove it a little skeleton time and on and over it and it's like like it freshly cooked. If you see the bread them on sale, buy the bread them and put them in your freezer. And remember the secret about this corona disease is to wash your hand. Do not go on the street without you have your mask over your mouth and as soon as they come from the street you wash your hand with soap water thoroughly to, to prevent picking up the disease so ladies divas and then over the whole world the whole entire world big up all the london people i heard that it's dropping like they're dropping like nothing over there in london i send my love and my regard and my sympathy for the family who lost their loved one some of them lost their mother their sister or whoever i'm sending my love to you so please take care and be good once again this is queen olive in her kitchen making potato pudding which i don't grater yes people i don't grater it because i do not i do not have the time to grate it on i don't like to sit down and take do nothing slowly so i have to use my blender to blend it with the coconut water the coconut juice with the potato it is very easy and then you put your spice and everything in it and make it so everybody i love you when it's finished make i'm gonna put it up to let you all see what i was doing i love you all have a wonderful a wonderful wonderful weekend it is friday nobody can go party stay in your house buy a drink whatsoever you choose like drink and drink it and blessing 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 to my all my grandchildren i have nine grandchildren my nine grandchildren is timoy shadeka shadika brian berry bryant and brysa rihanna and moya and Shatea, the star girl Shatea. Blessing and blessing to their parents. My sisters and our children, my aunt, my niece, my nephew. Please stay strong for each other. Because at the end of the journey, we have to stick to our one another. My brothers and my sisters and my niece and my nephews. I love you all. Stay safe and just walk away from trouble when you see it's trouble. Goodbye. I love you all. Blessing to my beautiful country, Jamaica, who, and, and big up the Prime Minister in Jamaica, Mr. P.J. Pattison, who, who hold the country down so good. And all them people who are disrespecting the Prime Minister in Jamaica, you are such a dark, stupid, and illiterate people. These people telling them what to do and showing gun finger, and when they say the cops come, they crying like a little pussycat. I know y'all gonna get what y'all looking for because a man up there, he is the overseer and looking down on all of us. That's why what is going on now because we don't have no manners, no respect to, to our leader or our pastor and we don't have no respect to nobody you don't respect yourself. So blessing again to all the people from Guyana, Trinidad, Grenada, St. Lucia, Trinidad, Haiti, um... What the other one in Africa, you know, St. Martin, blessing. And let's raise our hand and ask God to just watch over us, shower us with his blood, and forgive us for there's anything that we ever did done. Forgive us and let our country be safe again. Let we be happy again. Because I know everybody is miserable and unhappy and panicking. They don't know what's going to happen. So once again... Good afternoon, good night, and happy Friday, everybody. Be good. Bye-bye.